Okay, we're live. Hi, I'm Tekka, and I'm here for Marie Claire, and I'm here with Nicole on Mama today. Um, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to do your face so that you can wear a bold lip during the day. Um, and the lipstick that we're going to be using today is Bright Beauty's Wake Key, so it's like a really beautiful brown color. Um, and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do to Nicole is prime her eyes. Um, I can't tell you how important priming your eyes is, <laughs> especially if you are like me and your eyelids are oily. Um, priming your eyes is definitely your number one uh, step when you start to do your eyes. So if you are oily, um, one product that I would suggest is actually what I'm using right now, which is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, the only thing I will say about this product and all uh, primer products is not to use too much of it. You really just want to use enough that covers your lid um, because using too much of it can actually have the opposite effect and make your lids more oily and then all of your shadow just goes right into your crease. So you want to just use a tiny, tiny bit, um, spread it all over your lid, up to your brow bone, even put it through your brows if you haven't done your brows yet um, and that will help your brow makeup stay on one thing I really like to do is take my finger that I have the primer on and um, just fan it kind of right through my lashes to help as an eyelash primer now eyelash primers do exist so that that is something that you can also use and purchase um, but I'm a big fan of using one product for a lot of things, so I like to just take my primer and like put it all over wherever my eyes are. So um, one thing you should know about doing a bold lip is you really want to do just the lips as your main focus. Um, so when you're doing your eyes in that case, you really kind of want to go for like muted kind of neutrals and tans and things like that because when you're when your lip is focused you don't want people to kind of you know switch between your eyes and your lips and your cheeks and your face and all that kind of stuff so your best bet for doing a bold lip during the daytime and anytime is to do a muted eye so that's what we're going to do on the first day so we're going to start with um, a really light kind of cream color um, and this is the Asha Pinka illuminate palette by b &H cosmetics so we're starting with a cream color. We're just gonna put this all over her lid. Actually, what I'm gonna do is mix a little bit of this with a teeny bit of the tan color. I'm gonna dab off that excess so it doesn't get on her cheeks. And then we're gonna go right in on her eyelids. These are two really beautiful colors that work together because one of them is a shimmer and the other is not. So you get like just that slight glow that you're looking for. We're gonna put that all over her lid. Awesome. And we're gonna go back, do the same thing on the other side. And these are really pretty colors that can work for any skin tone. Um, I'm a big fan of having palettes in my kit that can go across a, a wide range of skin tones because you know when you're doing weddings and special events and stuff like that you never know um, who's going to want their makeup done and what they look like and that kind of thing so being able to have um, palettes that can that you know are useful for all skin tones is a very useful thing so that's one reason I really like this palette so I'm just going back in putting a second layer of those shadows on. Cool. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color on her outer corner. So I'm probably gonna go for this uh, matte brown and I'm gonna mix a little bit of this in it just to kind of keep going with that shimmery feel. So we're gonna take a fluffy brush or a blending brush, whichever you prefer. Um, and we're gonna go right into her outer corner with these colors. Now what this is gonna 
do for your eyes is it's going to give you a lot of dimension. And the way to adjust this for a deeper skin tone is to go a little bit deeper on your shadows. So what we have here on her base, these two really light colors, those can really work for any skin tone. But if you have a darker skin tone and you really want to add definition to your outer corner, go for a darker color. Or alternatively, you can go for a lighter color and do this the opposite way. That's what's cool about color and about makeup. There's no wrong way to do it or to use your colors or anything like that. If it makes you feel good, you should do it. So we're gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna add a little bit of definition here too. Now the cool thing about these blending brushes is that you're not really packing any shadow, any one place like too heavily. Um, and that's good, there's a reason for that. Because you really don't wanna look like, you know, your eyes are just like blo a block of cream and then a block of brown. You really want them to blend together. And that's what these blending brushes do. So as you can see, doing a very, very light eye. Looking good. Open your eyes for me, Nicole. Beautiful. <laughs> What I'm looking at here is really to, to blend a little bit more of that brown into the cream. So it's not so shiny, so fluffy. Now what we're going to do with this, because we are doing um, some shadow on the eyes, is you always kind of want to take the color that's lighter and put a little bit more of it in the inner corner. sandy color so that thing just gonna pack that right there but the good thing about doing this is that it makes you look really awake and it makes your eyes look really open so that when people are noticing your lipstick and they're like oh you also have such beautiful eyes <laughs> And the last thing that I'm going to do with her shadow, take a little bit of the matte brown and just kind of finish underneath her eye. The good thing about this and the thing I love about wearing gold lips is that I don't feel the need to do um, any sort of like big winged eyeliner or anything like that because the focus is not on my eyes. And sometimes it's nice to give your eyes a break if you do, you know, a winged eyeliner like I do every day. Okay, cool. Last thing we're going to do to our eyes is add some mascara. That's another thing that always makes you look wide awake and makes your eyes look really beautiful. So you can get that straight on there. Now, one thing I always tell everybody in my clients, my mother, my sisters, anybody who likes to wear makeup, is that you should always coat both sides of your lashes. If you feel like your lashes aren't long enough or you feel like they're too thin or something like that, start coating both sides of your lashes and see how that goes because this is a really incredible trick that I hope a lot of people already know, but if you don't, that will make your lashes definitely stand out more. And it also, for me, it helps to fan them out. Um, I have the problem of my lashes being um, really stuck together sometimes when I wear mascara, like that thing. So that little trick helps to fan them out a little bit more. Now if you have short lashes like me, you'll definitely want to use the mascara that has the brush that has the spikes on it. Those are definitely going to help you fan your lashes out, it's going to help coat every single lash. If you have these beautiful long lashes like Nicole, <laughs> you can probably use any mascara ever, hopefully. Yeah, so you just really get in there and take your time with it, honestly. That's one thing that I have to say about mascara. Take your time with putting it on. I think a lot of 
people who wear mascara kind of just rush through it. It's just kind of like, you know, the last thing, like a oh, couple swipes. I am a big fan of really taking your time putting your mascara on, really coats both sides. It really helps to open your eyes up. on to the lips. What we're going to do first, and this is an incredibly important step for lips of any kind, but especially bold lips, is you want to prime your lips. So I'm also using a Vice Beauty primer. Um, and what we're going to do is just draw a rough outline around her lips because this does not need to be exact or anything like that. I really just want to go in and go wherever. Um, and what this is also going to do is going to help your bold lip to not uh, bleed all over your face, which is like one of the worst things that can happen because then your lipstick starts to bleed up into your upper lip or down to your chin. It's just a mess. And you don't know that it's happening until you look at yourself. So we're going to prevent that from happening by priming. So put them together. Perfect. Okay. And then the lipstick that we're going to go in with like I said earlier, is Vice Beauty's Whiskey. Now, I am a really big fan of taking the lipstick, putting it on my hand, and then using a brush. I think you get a lot more control that way. Um, but if you are a straight out of the tube person, more power to you, you do what is comfortable for you. So, we are gonna do this this way today. And what I'm doing here is just kind of trying to grab all the product I can onto my brush. Now this is actually a concealer brush, but it's pointed. And so that's why I like to use it for lips. So we're going to go right in here. And because this brush is pointed, you can use it as if it were a liner as well. That's what I like to do. Nicole's got a good set of lips here. <laughs> so we are able to just kind of paint it on with a paintbrush. And the other thing I have to say about um, wearing a bold lip, look at me, perfect, um, is if you mess up, don't freak out um, because even the boldest lip comes off with, with something, with either micellar water or with some, um, you know, like a, a makeup wipe or something like that. Everything comes don't be afraid to line outside of your natural lip line. Don't be afraid to, you know, do your, your Cupid's bow 60 times. It'll all be okay. Now one really important thing, if you have a Cupid's bow, is to line it like an X, because that helps you line the rest of your top lip as well. So that's one thing I always do. Line it right there, line that right there. So you want to go over it like an X. Yep. So that you have a good base for lining the rest of your lip. Especially if you're using a lip liner. thing about um, doing your lips like this with a brush is that you can really um, make it as dark or as not dark as you want, you know? Most lipsticks are buildable in this, in this way. Um, so you can do, you know, one coat, oh I guess I just took my teeth, one <laughs> coat um, of a really light lipstick if like, you know, this is your first time trying lip or, or any lip in general um, and then you can keep adding on to make it more bold and to make it um, a nighttime look. Lips are so versatile and that's really why I love different colors of lipstick because you can 
totally, you can do any eye look you want, and then you can totally change it just by what you're going to be wearing. Alright. Now the one thing I will say about rocking a bold lip at any time of day or night is the most important thing is being confident in your choices. So if you choose to rock a bold lip, go out there and rock the lip. Be confident in your choices. Show everybody how hot you are because everybody's going to know. You can see it on your lip. And this bite color is a really pretty brown color. This is one of those colors that will definitely look a little bit different on somebody of a different skin tone. It might be a little, if someone's you know, a little lighter than you, it might be a little darker on them. This would actually be a really beautiful name for somebody who has um, a really deep skin tone. Because as you know, I sometimes like to fine. So, pro tip, try to be perceived. Awesome. And then the last thing we're going to do for Nicole is just highlight the cheeks. This is another thing that makes you so glowy. Um, I am using Becca's. Highlighter. Um, just a little bit on her cheekbones. You don't want her to shine it <laughs> for during the day at least. Um, so you just go right up here. And this is her liquid highlighter for shimmer, um, which I am really a big fan of. And then for the nighttime, I'm a really big fan of doing the liquid and then doing um, the powder on top of it. So it will just make you very very glowy. So we're just going to tap that in here, tap it back in. Awesome. And there's our finished look. <laughs> so this is how uh, you would wear, you know, a deeper lip to the office. Um, my main top tips are really just to kind of play down the eyes uh, with something neutral and then make sure, you know, your eyebrows are so much, Nicole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we will see you next time on Marie Claire. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.